A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Darth Vader and the Sith used the Death Star's super laser to destroy the planet Alderaan. But that type of technology is just inconceivable science fiction. Or is it? Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for May 2017. The laser technology employed by the Death Star space station may not be so far-fetched. Researchers in Australia have proven that multiplying laser beams with a specific material can deliver some very intense power. We'll have more on that later in the show. But first, over 4,000 advanced design and manufacturing professionals packed the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center recently for four different events. Biomed Device Boston, Design and Manufacturing New England, Plastech New England, and the Embedded Systems Conference, or ESC. Photonics Media News Editor Autumn Pilant was there and has the story. There were lasers, microscopes, robots, and lots of 3D printers. The showroom floor was packed as almost 450 exhibitors set up shop to network and display their products and designs. Not all of the booths were photonics related, so the challenge was finding those that were and seeing what they had to offer. So this is uh, our, our Blue Point unit, so it's, uh, it's basically used for curing bits of adhesive and coating, stuff like that. Um, really high powered output um, and, and really long life of, of uh, exposure. Even we introduced our new uh, Sharpview autofocus uh, inspection system. We uh, hard launched this product back in January of 2017. So we've got metal injection molded parts there. Um, we've got uh, laparoscopic surgery parts. Any, anybody that makes things at some point or another has to look at it. Many of the exhibitors were distributors and offered advice on getting the products to the consumers. I'd like to say we've partnered up with it. Of course we want to sell our products. We have to sell our products. This year's expo also featured machine vision, cameras, and laser etching manufacturers and distributors. And at center stage of the showroom floor, there were free presentations, demonstrations, and industry spotlights. Whether new or old, the companies represented at this year's show all had one goal in mind. Even though we've been in business since 1958, there's still people that don't know what we do, so always finding new people. Next year's show is set for April 18th and 19th at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. Reporting for Light Matters and Photonics Media, I'm Autumn Pilot. Thanks, Autumn. For more information on next year's show, visit the website at the bottom of the screen. Do you know a coworker, colleague, manager, or mentor who has changed the photonics industry for the better through hard work and dedication? will nominate them for a Photonics Media Industry Beacons Award. Once again this year, we're honoring those in the industry whose contributions have advanced and influenced light-based technologies in the scientific, business, academic, and consumer communities. The awards program is broken into five categories to recognize educators, researchers, industry advocates, entrepreneurs, and leaders. There are so many who are making significant and positive impacts on the industry that it may be tough to choose. But actually nominating them is easy. Just go to photonics.com to learn more and to access and submit the nomination form. You have until July 3rd. And while you're at photonics.com, be sure to check out the videos featuring some of last year's nominees. All winners will be featured in Photonics Spectra magazine later this year. Laser technology featured in the Star Wars films may not be strictly science fiction after all. Researchers at Macquarie University in Australia have discovered that highly intense laser power is possible with the use of diamond. The group has demonstrated that very intense laser power can be directed to a specific intended target when the power of multiple laser beams is transferred into a single intense output beam. They created this high-powered beam by placing ultra-pure diamond crystal at the point of convergence. The beam combining is achieved in diamond by harnessing the cooperative effect of the crystal, which causes intense light beams to transfer power into a selected direction, all while avoiding the beam distortion problems of single laser technologies. 
This discovery is crucial now, according to Macquarie lead researcher Dr. Aaron McKay, as experts struggle to increase power beyond existing levels while also controlling heat buildup. He said that combining beams from multiple lasers is a promising solution, as Diamond is able to quickly dissipate waste heat. The research was published in Laser and Photonics Reviews. Our bookstore is now open, and we're introducing a compilation book series featuring articles from photonics media publications by researchers, engineers, and others working at the leading edge of optics and photonics. We have two collections now available. The first, Optical Biomedical Imaging, is a 332-page resource that will increase your understanding of critical imaging technologies. These include optical coherence tomography, photoacoustic imaging, and their applications. The second, Lasers in Industry, provides a shop floor view of lasers in use and an expansive look at emerging applications and markets aimed at helping you do your job better. It also features a related dictionary. Each book is $69. Additional compilations on areas such as optics fabrication, machine vision, and remote sensing will be available soon. So go do some shopping. That's it for this month's show. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and coolest news and information. And until next time, keep following the photons. <laughs>